Anyways, uh, good morning everyone, and it's great to be here at the University of Waterloo. First, I'd like to thank Charmaine, uh, Charmaine Dean, Professor Asaka, and the University of Waterloo for giving MasterCard the opportunity to speak at this year's annual conference on protecting diverse application domains. I'd also like to recognize MP Jagger, the MP for Waterloo and the University of Waterloo. And we're thankful for the government's continued partnership in protecting Canada's cyber interests. This morning, I look forward to hearing from experts on how cybersecurity impacts health, artificial intelligence, and digital finance as the day progresses. But it is quite evident to everybody in the room that we're rapidly moving towards a digital first world. At MasterCard, we recognize the opportunities and risks that come with an interconnected world and the need to build trust in data. Cyber crime is evolving. When the pandemic sent us all home three years ago, Cyber, cyber criminals seized an opportunity as much of the world began working remotely. Specifically, cyber crime linked to remote working jumped 238% between 2021 and 2022. As we rapidly move to a digital first world, hackers and cyber criminals are constantly developing new techniques for compromising personal and financial information. They're using new technologies and methods to launch more sophisticated attacks. They're all around the world, in small towns and big cities, and have even leased or owned offices like any other business. They're challenging to track down as they can operate almost anywhere. And it is estimated that since the beginning of the pandemic, cybercrime has increased 600% worldwide with an economic cost of $6 trillion. And if cybercrime had a GDP, it would be third after the US and China. Unsurprising, the impact of a cyber crime can be debilitating in Canada, or debilitating in general, but in Canada, the average data breach costs businesses $5.6 million. This is an issue that touches every aspect of our economy, impacting governments, consumers, our smallest businesses, and our largest corporations. MasterCard recently released new research that shows that just 18% 18, 18 of Canadian small business owners feel confident that they would fully recover from a cyber attack in the next six months. And this is a very troubling statistic. Small and medium-sized business, businesses are at particular risk. But that doesn't mean that the larger organizations or governments are safe. In our current environment, it's not if you'll be exposed to cyber risk, it's when. That's why cybersecurity cannot be left to chance. The best way to fight cybercrime is to understand the risk. What does it look like? Why does it happen? How can it be stopped? What's more, Canada needs cybersecurity talent to answer these questions. According to Information and Communications Technology Council, Canada faces a shortfall of 25,000 workers in the cybersecurity sector. These challenges are significant, but they can be overcome to secure the digital world through collaboration. Is very, which is why <laughs> I'm very proud to re-announce <laughs> this morning that MasterCard is proudly partnering with the Cybersecurity and Privacy Institute at the University of Waterloo 
to provide $550,000 in funding to support research and talent advancement in cybersecurity. This funding will support projects that increase trust in data, specifically in fingerprinting, identification, and validation, and data protection. The cybersecurity challenges we face right now in this country and worldwide are evolving at a pace we've never seen before. No one individual, institution, corporation, or government can address these challenges alone. They must be addressed through collaboration. MasterCard's partnership with the CPI will advance research and commercialization initiatives and prepare the next generation of industry leaders in cybersecurity and privacy. So what does this look like? We will define standards and play a leading role in securing the ecosystem. We will share expertise through our partnerships to meet our commitment to advancing innovation in cybersecurity, privacy, and data science. We will also provide scholarships for students studying cybersecurity and privacy. This scholarship ensures that we support the continued talent development to meet the storage Canada is current, the shortage Canada is currently facing, as well as key research and innovation. The CPI is integral to fostering interdisciplinary research collaborations and training world-leading talent in cybersecurity and privacy. With over 60 diverse faculty members representing 16 departments, our partnership will help CPI build on and expand the leadership in the cybersecurity ecosystem. Later today, we will hear in detail from Professor Asakon, Executive Director of CPI and Professor at the University of Waterloo's Sheridan School of Computer Science on the state of CPI and its contributions to the field of cybersecurity. But we know the University of Waterloo has a long history of success in cybersecurity. Since 2018, CPI has done significant work, especially in bringing together experts from various fields to collaborate on research and training in cybersecurity and privacy. CPI is tackling critical global issues in our digital society by building on technical expertise in cybersecurity, privacy, cryptography, data science, quantum communications, all this by promoting interdisciplinary collaborations. We at MasterCard are committed to supporting Canadian innovation, technology, and cybersecurity talent. To know the significance of our partnership with the University of Waterloo and CPI, we must understand where we are currently in the cybersecurity landscape and some of the challenges that we're facing today. With the exponential growth of digitization and threats to data protection, the need for sophisticated identification and secure storage methods is immediate and pressing. Yes, it is very convenient to shop, pay, and work online. However, rapid adoption and digital advancements like AI have left us vulnerable to increased cybersecurity risks, especially in the past few years. Our efforts at MasterCard go beyond protecting the transaction. And as a global technology company in the payments industry, we firmly believe that to innovate, we must collaborate with partners from across the industry and the ecosystem. Collaboration is a core principle at MasterCard that defines our approach to cybersecurity. It has guided our investment in the space, including launching our Global Intelligence and Cyber Center of Excellence in Vancouver in 2020 in partnership with the Government of Canada. 
The partnership announced this morning with CPI is the latest in a series of cybersecurity related investments MasterCard has made in Canada through our Center of Excellence, totaling more than $9 million in scholarships and partnerships with leading academic, industry, and community organizations to date since 2020. Our Center is leading innovation in cyber and intelligence, artificial intelligence, and the Internet of Things creating more than 300 high-quality jobs to date. Through our Center of Excellence, MasterCard has forged a number of partnerships with post-secondary institutions to advance innovative research and help grow Canada's tech workforce. For example, our partnership with the University of New Brunswick, Dr. Garbani is here, our partnership has funded a new cybersecurity research lab and MasterCard Internet of Things research chair. Next week, I will be attending Dr. Gobandi's Cybersecurity Industry Summit in Fredericton, New Brunswick, talking about our partnership with UMB and the progress we've made driving cybersecurity innovation. Last month, we announced a $450,000 partnership with the British Columbia Institute of Technology that will provide financial support for students through the MasterCard Computing Technology Awards and the creation of the MasterCard Chair in Digital Trust. MasterCard will continue to invest in partnerships and knowledge sharing across Canada's entire tech ecosystem through our Global Intelligence and Cyber Center of Excellence as part of our ongoing commitment to strengthening Canadian innovation. From a global perspective, MasterCard has invested more than $5 billion over the last five years into cybersecurity capabilities and has contributed to the launch of more than 20 cybersecurity-focused startups. These investments, both in Canada and globally, illustrate our firm belief at MasterCard that diverse voices are necessary to build a stronger, more inclusive, more secure digital economy for everyone. So what are the takeaways? Our partnership with CPI and the University of Waterloo will become the first Central Canada research partnership that threads our cyber innovation needle from coast to coast. This research partnership, along with BCIT and UMB and other collaborations, will help us meet the challenges posed by digital transformation in advancing fundamental research. MasterCard's collaboration with post-secondary schools, governments, and other institutions will drive the innovation and the talent demands needed to secure our digital future and trust in data. There is still a lot of progress to be made in various areas of cybersecurity. And to that extent, we are definitely on the right track. But we are not done. We cannot stop now. I can't wait to meet you throughout the morning to hear about your work and ideas for further innovation and building cybersecurity talent. Thank you once again for the invitation to speak in front of you this morning to share our news. I'm convinced that the partnership form today is just the tip of the iceberg. And I cannot wait to, hear, to be here again in the future. Thank you.